Next down the list is costume design. Some of the women say they like the new sack dresses. It gives them more freedom. This keeps up, they're gonna get a lot of them. <laughs> I don't say a dress should be tight, but I do think when a woman gets into a dress, she ought to have some specific idea of where she is. <laughs> it's a friendly gesture. No, it's a friendly gesture, especially if you happen to know her. The least they can do is put in a bookmark. <laughs> Thank goodness Hollywood designers aren't that way. They may put women in flour sacks, but they'll add a little yeast, too. It's amazing what they can do with a needle and thread in a plain little girl like Zsa Zsa Gabor. <laughs> well, back to work. To present the Costume Design Award, two members of the Academy Board of Governors, Mr. Robert Ryan and Mr. Wendell Corey. Are you ready for this, Wendell? No. You got the dresses? No. Five nominated dresses will be modeled. You describe the dresses, and I'll describe the models. I don't think either one of us should try to describe the dresses. You start with the models. OK, first, Miss Tina Elg, wearing a costume designed by Ori Kelly for Lay Girls. This is Miss Myrna Hansen, wearing an 1860 ball gown designed by Walter Plunkett for Raintree County. <laughs> Miss Pat Jones, wearing a dress designed by Edith Head for Funny Face. <laughs> this model is the beautiful Miss Victoria Shaw. The ensemble, created by Jean-Louis for the picture pal Joy. Lovely Rhonda Fleming, wearing an evening ensemble designed by Charles Lemaire for the film An Affair to Remember. <laughs> Mr. Corey, would you like to announce the winner? Yes, the envelope is in pure white with a nervous green seal. The winner, the girls, Ori Kelly. Thanks to everyone, but a special thanks to Mr. George Cukor.